you know, I'm not a perfect person. There are many times as a human being, you're wrong. And I think I was wrong about the Bad Musica. Kind of. Let me explain. I have received so many comments regarding my video on the Bad Musica shoulder rest. And I feel like it is time for the new year to kind of update my uh, my concerns with the Bon Musica. Some of you already may have watched that video who are subscribed to the channel. If not, you know, I made that video a couple years ago, a little bit of an older video, so I figured this could be a great update. You know, the Bon Musica has some strengths. I will give you that. You know, there are some people who like the Bon Musica, but I I will admit that I may have over-exaggerated the weight of the Bon Musica. Hear me out. I think it was taken a little bit out of context because the shoulder rest itself is not heavy, of course. You know, I'm holding it right now. However, given that ba I don't know if Bon Musica has made an updated version of the shoulder rest since it was released, I think it's time for an update for this for this model. I think that the I don't like the metal part of the shoulder rest because it is prone to scratching on the violin. I've seen this with my uh, with my colleagues um, back when I was young. They tried the Bon Musica. I played on the Bon Musica when I was in high school. So I'm very familiar with it. It's not like I'm reviewing it out of context. Here's what I do like. I do like the fact that the wood, that the, not the wood, but the metal bends. That's great. You know, you know, the fact that I can put it on my shoulder and it stays this way. I think that's a good idea. I think that's a great idea. This is the only shoulder rest of that I know of that has some sort of bendable metal. And I think that's why a lot of people gravitate toward it. I feel like there's like this really intense group of people who love Bon Musicas that really lashed out at me on that video that I made. But that is the one thing I like about this Bon Musica is that it does hold the grip. I know many students, especially in my adult students, could really benefit from, benefit from this. However, I'm always hesitant to recommend this shoulder rest because it is on the heavier side. I think that this violin shoulder rest with the weight of your head can be a problem because the natural weight of your head is around 11 pounds or five kilograms. And then the moment you add the, the weight on top of the violin, some of you may be already pressing into the chin rest a little bit and some of you may not, but in addition to the weight of your head plus the weight of this shoulder rest, I can't justify recommending this. You know, to each their own, this is just one man's opinion. Not, my opinion is not the go all say all by any means, but that's part of the reason why I always hesitate to recommend this thing. It is, it feels very industrial and it, it could be useful maybe for like an electric violin or maybe something carbon fiber like a Lewis and Clark violin or viola. Those I would, I would be okay with because the, the risk of scratching the instrument may be not as high. But with this, with a, with a wooden instrument, it's really hard to recommend. But let's take a look at some of the parts in detail to see what I mean. Okay, so generally we, we have this metal shoulder rest. Something that I don't like off the bat is this metal screw. And yes, you can adjust it, you know, you can twist it left, you know, righty tighty, lefty loosey. You know, I feel like the materials, this is, you know, this is a German made product. So it is, it is built to last, no doubt about it. However, this metal bothers me a lot. And I, you know, I can't, I'm just afraid that if I ever go near my instrument with this, that it can't scratch it. And then that's a costly repair, especially if you're playing on a, on a very expensive instrument. Um, as I said, one of the things I do like is the, the bend to metal, that I can bend it left and right this way according to my shoulder and it stays that way. That, that's cool. And another great thing is that if some of these, these um, pads break or they rip off or you can't super glue for whatever reason, they sell individual uh, parts to the shoulder rest. So you can customize it to your liking. I know that some violinists to get extra padding, they wrap around like a red dot sponge with a rubber band and they kind of add a little bit of extra padding. So this so this is lifted up a bit. You know, I, I've seen that before. And let's maybe dismantle this just a little bit so we can see what it's all about. 
even though you can't customize it, like you can do a different, um, you can do a different widths this way. You, you can't extend it. This is kind of a weird way of extending it, but I wished it was a little bit more streamlined. You know, sometimes when you do want to adjust quickly, I don't want to have to worry about detaching these two screws that could be easily lost. And then I have to, I have to replace them. And that's just kind of an annoyance for me. So let's put this back together. Like it's not hard to put back together. It's just these tiny little pieces can be, um, they, they can get lost really easily. So I'm putting this in, putting this there. Oh, oops, sorry, I did that too quickly. One thing I do like about this shoulder rest is actually, like I said, the padding. Um, I know on the Kuhn shoulder rest, even though the Kuhn rests are not perfect, they do have this padding here and they do have the rubber. Let me go a little closer. This is nice. I wish that they can transfer this to the Kuhn. And I wish I like, I wish they were, there were some elements of the Kuhn transferred over to the Bond Musica. And you could also, by the way, bend this metal here up and down, depending on your shoulder. So you can, you can really bend it as much as you want this way. Something we haven't talked about yet is the, the weight. So let's, I have a scale here. This is going, let's do it in grams. So this is the, let me bend it so that it doesn't fall off. 98 grams. Let's recalibrate this so it's zero. Good. And then let's let's give the Kuhn Bravo a chance. Slightly less. So it's 81. This is 81. Recalibrate. Oh, I'll have to turn it back on. To 98. And overall, that's that's what I think about the Bon Musica shoulder rest. I'm not saying it's a bad shoulder rest. I'm just saying that it's not one I would recommend. And especially for um the average beginner who is starting out on the violin. However, I acknowledge that there are different body types out there, different shoulder widths, um, all sorts of different things happening up in near the neck and the shoulder collarbone region. So this could be for you. Uh, if, if you are in that category of, I need something that is kind of weird, but works for me, this is kind of weird and may work for you. But I can't say I recommend this for everybody.